I'm really thrilled that I could be here at the official launch of this very important project, ACR Project Genie. ACR Project Genie is a data sharing collaboration between seven hospitals and cancer centers in the US, Canada, and Europe, all of whom have made significant investments in using tumor genome sequencing, what we call clinical sequencing. Genie is a great project. Genie is actually riding the crest of what I think is the most high impact wave that we know about in cancer medicine and cancer research. Where we are today with clinical NGS is we're blurring the lines between a research only test and a clinically actionable laboratory test to a degree that the field has never seen before. The Genie project is an effort to bring together genetic data and clinical data from multiple centers in the world. So what we're announcing today is a pilot involving just these seven centers, but of course we're planning for success and intend over the next year or two to expand the effort into a much larger data consortium. So from our point of view at Princess Margaret, we were very excited about the opportunity because we recognized, you know, in order to learn more, we would need to share our data with other centers that were, were doing like-minded projects. Every individual doctor is having to make that same educated guess without knowing whether they're doing the right thing or not. The fact that we now bring that data together means that any doctor can go into the database and say, okay, some patients of you have the same profile, have been treated with a certain treatment, and it has been successful or not. The only way we're gonna be able to figure that out is to gather the largest amount of data possible so that when we ask questions, we can get results back with sufficient statistical power that we can draw inferences that are important. If you sequence only 100 patients, something is mutated in 30%, you'll, you'll see it, it's recurrent. If it's mutated in only 1%, one out of 100, you don't know yet. If you sequence 1,000, you see it 10 times. If you sequence 10,000, and you, you get the idea. So we need to sequence more to get to those very, very rare, those really personal mutations that once you sequence enough, may not be so personal anymore. I think that's something that really resonates with patients, you know, the understanding that um, even their information can be leveraged for the greater good, I think is something that's very powerful and that's something that Gene speaks to. So at the first release uh, in November, we already have over 17,000 total genomic records in the database. The Genie Project allows us to try to predict in the future how some of these abnormalities are going to impact cancer patients and then devise treatments to improve the outcomes for those patients. To be honest, we're really, really very far from precision medicine because we simply have not enough information to be precise. And that's exactly why Genie is here, to collect as much information to ultimately get to precision medicine because we simply don't know at the moment, but by bringing everything together, then we can fulfill the promise of precision medicine. So it really comes down to one patient comes in and you can compare that patient to 20,000 or more patients one day and, and use their prior information to inform that treatment decision. But we also understand that we need to kind of have a global data sharing effort and then having a, a body like AACR that, that helps us to bring things together, support that, that is extremely important. None of us, even talking to like-minded people, could have brought something together without a neutral convener. AACR is the perfect, neutral, fair, objective convener. Having the ACR on board, coordinating this infrastructure beyond just sort of providing the logistical support to make it happen, I think it's really important in terms of the philosophy and the vision of the project. This project was lauded for its innovation, state-of-the-art approach to cancer science and medicine, and also its potential for improving patient care.